How to invest in any crypto market cycle, a beginner's guide. In this video, we look at how you can invest at any time in crypto, and that's the accumulation, uptrend, distribution, and downtrend phases. If you're new to the world of crypto, deciding when to make your move can be daunting. In this guide, we'll have a good look at the market cycle and help you understand the best way to approach investing in any market conditions at any time. I don't want you to be worried about money and investing. I don't want you anxious, stressed, frustrated like I was when I lacked emotional intelligence and any financial literacy for years after the financial crisis of 2008. I want you to be calm and neutral around money and I want you to live life on your own terms because of decisions you make today and tomorrow, because of the discipline you are going to develop, because of taking the time to educate yourself like you're doing watching this video and because of continuing to learn all about money and investing as you move forward with your life. Investing in any market conditions requires careful consideration and a well thought out strategy. I'm going to give you the strategy and then I'll finish off with some case studies of how I've invested during difficult periods. Here are some of the things I've learned as an investor over the last 20 plus years that will help you invest in any market. Set clear investment goals. It might not be in a goal setting. From my experience, you're missing out on clarity and a strong sense of direction. I needed goals and maybe you do too. Determining your investment objectives, such as growth, income, or preservation of capital, this will help you to identify suitable investment opportunities. Your financial goal might be to become financially independent, to spend more time with your family, or to pay your parents' mortgage off, or to be able to go on more holidays every year, or be able to buy your dream car. You really need to be specific with your goals. Like financial independence to you might be £2,000 a month or even £10,000 a month. Whatever it is, get it written down. Then you have a target that you can work towards. Understand your risk tolerance. Assess your willingness and ability to tolerate market fluctuations and losses. Your risk tolerance will influence your investment choices. I have a high risk tolerance, like the fact that my low-cost index fund is made up of 100% stocks. The main reason is that I intend to invest for the next 20 or even 30 years so I can ride the inevitable ups and downs. Diversify your portfolio. Diversification is crucial to reduce risk. Allocate your investments across different cryptos. You could have Bitcoin, Ethereum, some stable coins and a small percentage of higher risk altcoins, for example. Education is really important and will insulate you against mark ups and downs. Read books about investors who've had success for decades despite market booms and busts. Investors like Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio and John Bogle. Or you can get specific and read more recent books all about crypto investing. Stay informed and continue to educate yourself as you continue to invest over the years. Keep up to date with market news, economic indicators and events affecting the market. This will enable you to make informed investment decisions. Long-term buy and hold. Develop a long-term perspective. Investing is generally a long-term endeavor. Don't be swayed by short-term market volatility. Instead, focus on the underlying fundamentals of your investments. When you are able to zoom out and think long-term, it brings calmness. Once I started thinking about crypto long-term, like 10 years plus, I stopped getting stressed out over the price of my investments. I stopped looking at CoinMarketCap every day. If you ever get a little seed of doubt, double down on education. This has helped me big time over the last few years. Dollar cost average or pound cost average every month or week or even every day. Consider investing in regular intervals regardless of market conditions. This approach can help smooth out the impact of mark ups and downs over time. Take the stock market for example. There is sometimes ups and downs, but if you look at historical data, indices like the S&P 500 in the US do have ups and downs, but average out between 8 and 10% returns every year. This is called reversion to the mean or reversion to the average. 
I have to use the stock market here as an example because the crypto market is still so volatile because of its relative infancy compared to the stock market or compared to commodities like gold and silver. Take your time when considering your options. Research and evaluate different investment opportunities based on your investment goals and your risk tolerance. So in crypto terms, low risk would be Bitcoin or Ethereum as they are seen as the safest cryptos with the most credibility. Medium risk might be Solana or Cardano and high risk you're talking about altcoins outside the top 15 in terms of market cap. I'm personally high risk, but I do have a diversified portfolio containing low risk, medium risk and high risk cryptos. This little guide is what I've learned in the 20 years of investing and the last seven years in crypto. It's the type of information you'll find in a book and it's what's worked for me. Just to be clear, this isn't financial advice and I don't know what is going to happen in the market going forward. I haven't got a crystal ball and no one else has, regardless of how well they talk about charts and historical data. But you can use strategies that have stood the test of time, like taking a long-term approach. I'm now going to touch on what not to do and what you should do with some case studies. Zero financial education leads to foot. The financial crisis back in 2008 led to a lot of foot, fear, uncertainty and doubt. Instead of learning about personal finance and learning how to invest, I took the path of least resistance. I looked for the easy options. I gambled and I chased quick, easy money. Please learn from my mistake here because every mistake I made was painful and these mistakes compound over time. Investing through a global pandemic. At some point during the pandemic, the markets were down and we were well and truly in a bear market. As countries impose lockdowns and restrictions to contain the virus, economic activity slowed down dramatically. This contraction in economic growth negatively impacted corporate profits, leading to further declines in, in the stock market. To mitigate the economic impact of the pandemic, several banks around the world implemented various measures, including cutting interest rates, quantitative easing and liquidity injection. Let me tell you how I behaved during this period as an investor. It didn't affect my investing at all. I didn't skip a beat during the market downturn and continue to invest. Let us take index investing as an example. I've been investing in a Vanguard life strategy fund since mid 2019. I spent months reading book after book and doing serious research. Eventually, I found a fund that was right for me based on my goals and risk tolerance. I decided on a monthly amount, an amount I could afford and invested every single month. I knew I needed to do this through market ups and downs because that's what all the experts recommend in the books that you're going to read. This is basically dollar cost averaging or pound cost averaging if you're a UK investor. Experts also recommend long term investing. When you zoom out and think long term, market ups and downs don't have a negative impact on your mindset. It brings calmness, which is a very useful tool for any investor to have in their locker. And with my experience and newfound knowledge, the pandemic didn't affect me as an investor at all. Investing through high inflation. Inflation is serious and, and can cause a lot of pain for families around the world, like it was doing in 2022 and 2023. It's been bad in the UK as fuel prices have increased significantly, energy prices have increased and food prices have increased. My energy prices alone increased by over 200% back in 2022. Let's look at how I behaved as an investor during periods of high inflation. Well, again, I stuck to the plan. It hasn't been easy because, like everyone else, my finances have been really squeezed by high inflation. Like that energy bill that jumped by 200% or our monthly food bill increasing by well over 30%. Because of learning about money, and investing since 2019, I now know and fully understand the importance of investing. So I forced myself to find a way. In 2022, I had four weeks holiday, but other than that, I worked a lot of overtime and averaged six days a week for the majority of the year. And the extra income went on investing. This allowed me to continue to dollar cost average into the stock market with my low cost index fund. 
as it did during the global pandemic. And with my increased conviction of Bitcoin and other cryptos, I also started dollar cost average in a crypto, like I did with index investing. I took the time to do the research, to learn and understand what cryptos I wanted to invest into. Finally decided on Bitcoin, Ethereum and Polygon. And I invested into these cryptos every single month during 2022, despite all the FUD in the markets, despite the fact that it was a brutal bear market, like I did during the global pandemic. I stuck to the plan, and this is exactly what you need to do in any market conditions. Remember the time in the market perfectly is practically impossible, even for seasoned investors. Stick to sound strategies, practice risk management, and focus on long-term growth. Don't forget to enjoy the exciting journey that is crypto investing. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and remember nothing I've said in this video should be taken as financial advice. It's just information from me to you to hopefully save you time and money.